welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. I'm Lynn. And I'm Ernie. Let's get started. Today we have the door partly down, so we're going to bring it up. And we've got a lot of hungry faces waiting for us. I have no patience. <laughs> no kidding, look at them. This is the bottle baby crew waiting for their bottles, which I've got right here. Oh, what a difference the food makes. So now if we could just get Max to be quiet. She's a little 13. She's a little Cracker Jack. Someone suggested that I name her Karma but we already have a karma from our show group, so I can't do that. No, I don't have <laughs> So this is the girl we've been feeding the little treat to, <laughs> and now she's become a real pest. Because even when I come in here with my salt mineral scoops, she comes over and knocks them all out of my hands because she thinks everything is food now. That's why in general we don't like to train sheep with food. Yeah, I'm looking at this little guy over here. He's looking pretty nice. Not you, you're very nice too. But I'm talking about that ram right here. Hey buddy. Stinky. Hi, you guys. They're at the age where they're starting to be curious now. Hi. Hello. Who are you guys? And it's always the boys. Come on, girls. You guys can come over, too. Come on, girls. Who are you? Angel lying in the pen here. Hopefully she's okay. Oh no, that's not Angel, sorry. This one looks just like Angel. She's actually the one who was supposed to be a call and then we just didn't have the heart for it because uh, she has really, uh, actually she has a, had double mastitis. This is Angel. Hi Angel. I thought that was you. I thought maybe you weren't feeling well. We didn't want that to happen. No. Sheep who have a spot on their left ear are always friendly. Yes, we don't know why, but I guess that's the gene. The friendly gene, right, Angel? Hi. You're friendly too. There's Angel. Goodness, you're such a nice girl. Are you gonna have another baby this year? Are you gonna have another one? Yeah. 
Because you're a good mom. Yeah, you're a good mom. You are. And here comes Belle. Belle's one of our old Su Suffolk Texel crosses. It's been here quite a while. Because we're into uh, L's this year and she's a B. Hi, Belle Belle. You coming over to say hello too? This pen has the most of my Texel crosses in and because we haven't been keeping that many over the years, a lot of them are old girls. Angel's got an A name, but she's not an old sheep. We called her Angel because she was an angel, but she's only, t this is her second lambing, so she's still a young girl. Hey. How you doing? So as we're doing chores, we'll leave these guys to wander around. Oh. And there's a little cry baby. There she is. I just had to include this cat segment. This is when I was feeding the cats this morning and Tom is usually in the feeder to get his food but today Scotty was in the pen first eating his food and Tom had to get into the barn. Just listen to Scotty growling. He's not impressed. He thinks tiptoeing by will help. He made it over to his own food bowl with no fight when you just don't want to share. So this morning we have a drinker for the Suffolk pen, which is our big breeding group here in the heifer barn. It's, the heater is not working so the water is really cold. We're guessing that the element has burnt out. But Arnie's just going to turn off the electricity and have a closer look at it. But this is the main drinker in this barn, so we got to make sure that that's working properly. Hi, girls. Shut off, Bell. That's that. I could maybe fix that uh, little tracer up there and tie it together with a couple of rats. I could, I could do that today. That would be good because getting shocked is a little bit annoying every time. What's that? Getting shocked is a little annoying when you clean the drinker. Yeah, I could probably fix that. I just want to see if this, I want to see if this will come out or not. It seems to be. What's he doing in there? What's oh, he? Oh yeah, that's like right there. What's he doing in there? See? What? Is it unhooked or just broke it's off? Broken. Okay. Well. Let me see where the wire goes. Oh, 
You're gonna get some heat in your drinker again. No, you don't want to go in there. It's very interesting. Looking upside down is terrible. Why is that like that? Oh, this one here has to be took off. I have to find out where it goes. How am I going to find that out Here's Cammy right at the front. I saw a picture of Cammy the other day, and I couldn't believe how spotted she was as a lamb. She was so cute. That's why we called her Cammy. It's not after uh, Cammy on the sheep game. It's, she was called Cammy because uh, she had so many spots. She looked like she was wearing camo. Cammy camo. <laughs> I guess while we watch Arnie feeding this, I can give ourselves a pat on the back. Um, in Canada, every year we have what we call the Royal Agricultural Winter Fair in, in Toronto, where all the best sheep from around the country enter the show. We totally forgot about it this year. I don't know why. So we didn't get up for it to film it or anything. And. Uh, I wish when people posted on Facebook they'd say how many were in the class because I, I don't know what the turnout was like. I heard the vendors were really, really down. But um, the 4-H classes are huge there. So um, the 4-H kids enter shows throughout the year, those little fairs that we go to. And they, they accumulate, I'm not sure because I'm not in 4-H, but what I believe happens is that certain fairs give them certain points. So in order for them to get their lamb to the royal, they have to get so many points to be allowed in. And that's, uh, right now, it's one of the biggest classes at the royal. Like these 4-H kids, they're doing a fantastic job and it's really nice to see. So I've been seeing pictures posted on Facebook with uh, the sheep that were winning and stuff and there was a really nice Suffolk lamb that won in the 4-H class so I gave it a little like and just this morning I got a message from one of my customers and she said just just to let you know that you lamb that was in the 4-H class that won at the Royal was bought from you this year so it was our lamb that someone has taken to the next level and she won at the Royal. So congratulations to her and we're very very proud of that. Um, it's nice when our sheep prove themselves on other farms like that. One yesterday asked me what happened to 459 She's one who rejected her lamb when it was born, and then something happened to the lamb overnight. We don't know if she hit it and it died, or if she sat on it and it died, but she lost her lamb and she was berserk. So they asked what happened to her, and the, uh, our sheep just disappear into the flock, but they asked if we were giving her a second chance. So I went and looked up her records and found out that she's in Jethro's group, and this is her. She is in with Jethro, so when she does have a mark on her record saying that she did that last year, we always give a first time or a second chance when they do that. It's kind of like a, a postpartum depression thing. Um, usually only happens with a first timer, and it usually never happens again. And I had totally forgotten about it because we have so many sheep here, and I thought, when he said, what happened to 459? I'm like, like, who's 459? <laughs> but that's her. And when she does have her lambs this year, we will, because it has a note on the scanner when she's in the jug, I will definitely tell you how she performs as a mom. Two strikes and she would be out, but we've never had one do it twice. So I'm not expecting something bad. Even at this age, the rams still play on the box.
sun out today so you can see that the snow is melting on the roof and it keeps sliding off. Despite the sun and the snow melting off the roof we got a wicked wind again so it feels very cold. Hi boys! We're gonna get the last of the debris on the pile then we're gonna let you out. Hi Calvin. Hi. Hi. Oh monster. Hi. Little guy. You're really nice too. Hi Monty. Hi. Hi. How you guys doing? Are you the nicest rams ever? You guys are. You're the nicest rams ever. Yes. Oh, buddy. I haven't seen the rams for a little while, so I thought we'd end up end off the day with a little visit with them. Hi boys! It's very cold today. Arnie's heading out to get a new element for the water drinker and I'm off to do books. So, so for me and Gladiator, thank you for watching and I hope you'll Join us tomorrow for the next episode at Utopia Farms. That's the new guy. Okay, I don't usually go out night, out at night. But we're gonna see what Arnie's up to back here. So he decided to have a fire and burn some of the scrub brush that we had from our um, windstorm in the summer and a bunch of debris around the barnyard. You could hear the coyotes earlier, but you can't hear them anymore. Did you hear them? Yeah, they were right there, right there in that plow field from the this field. And they were across the road. There has to be different groups of them, eh?